Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Crazy for Candles, and my name is Wanda. Happy Wednesday to everyone. <clears throat> I hope everyone is having a great day. Oh, I'll tell you, we have a post burn candle review for you. I only have three. I know, I, I, I'm trying to get through the candles, but I've been burning so many um, candles halfway or a quarter of the way to try them out. And what have you, <clears throat> I become a little bit overwhelmed. Plus, here in New Hampshire, the weather is crazy. It's 80 one day, 58 and rainy the next day, 70 one day. It, it, it's New England, if you don't, they have an old saying here in New England, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. <laughs> but <clears throat> Mark and I, Mr. Drama King, have also been doing a lot of um, four wheeling up in the mountains up you know and past the white mountains so i do post videos on instagram actually photographed a moose um a bull his little horns are sprouting so that was kind of really cool i was probably 10 10 12 feet away so it was really nice but without further ado let's get into the Bose candle review shall we i have two from goose creek and one from Bath and Body Works. We're going to do the Bath and Body Works first. And it is none other than iced lemon pound cake that came out in the summer. You know, I had the cute little matte finish label with the gold foil butterflies and what have you. Look at that. I don't know if I can see it or if it transpires as well. I had a lot of wood, um, issues with the wax on this one. A lot of cotton balling, a lot of everything on this one. Let's get to the scent notes on this first, shall we? And that is sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, whipped cream with natural essential oils. Yes. <clears throat> the scent notes on this air spot on um, you do pick up that lemon that beautiful slightly tart lemon you pick up the fluffy cake and you do pick up that nice sugary icing that just evens out that tart lemon it just gives it a little extra something it was really a very pleasurable um, scent and when this candle was behaving, it was a solid seven as far as, <clears throat> you know, the throw. It filled up the space I was in and it gently wafted out to the next room. And if you could see to my left, you can see where the kitchen is. So it would fill up, you know, waft out to the kitchen. So it was a great, it was a good candle scent wise and throw wise. But... The performance. I had one wick that kept dutting out. <clears throat> the flames were almost non-existent. So I had a constantly cotton ball, cotton ball, cotton ball. And at one point, one of the wicks just fell off. This was the only burning for maybe two, two and a half hours. It fell into the wax, so I actually had to pour it off. I may use this and put it on a warmer to finish it. I don't know. I have so many, I highly doubt it. Which is a shame, because it is a good smelling candle. Um, but just the performance of constantly having a cotton ball this, a wick dutting out, and what have you. Too much babysitting for me. So, but just with that being said, would I actually repurchase this? No, I'm not gonna. And going on to the next one is from Goose Creek Candles. It came out, re came, it came out again this fall. And it's none other than Vanilla Pumpkin Waffle. Mm -hmm. It still has scent to it. I burnt this down to the gills, as you can see. It was an even burn. Um, a little bit of soot. Not bad. Not bad. And the scent notes on this candle is creamy vanilla, 
pumpkin twist harvest spices vanilla waffle maple warm butter mm. <clears throat> I am going to compare the aroma of this to Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles this is its little brother little sister whatever you want to call it just a little sweeter so I'm gonna say little sister because with this being the little sister of Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles you pick up just a little bit more vanilla so it gives it that little sweetness but you pick up the waffle uh, the spices <clears throat> the vanilla a little bit of the pumpkin but in, in the maple I don't pick up the a butter note on this whatsoever now <clears throat> the throw on this once it gets going uh, it took about 30 minutes a solid medium as well filled up the space again that I'm in wafted out to the other room instead of going into the living room a tad and um, I had to actually watch out when he when Mark was home that it wasn't too much to burn so an absolute solid medium throw now the performance again a tad sooty not bad I didn't have to babysit this candle you know I did my normal when I put out the candle trim the wicks you know prior to relighting it but I had no dudding out of the wax I didn't have to put you know cotton ball I didn't have to do all that to you know maintenance and if Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles could be a little too much for you but you absolutely love the scent give this a try I think you would be very happy with this so with that being said would I repurchase this again yes I would without a doubt <clears throat> And last but least, I do believe this is a new fragrance for them. I do not think this is a repackage. Was none other than warm pumpkin bread. And I thought the um, packaging on this was so cute because it looked like vintage wallpaper or what have you. Or wrap, you know, paper wrapping that you would go to like old bakeries and what have you with the pumpkins and everything. Three wicks. It did um, soot a little bit. At the end, I don't know if you can see the discoloration. That's because I burnt it down until you could see the bottoms of the wicks that go to the bottom of the jaw. That's how low I burnt this one. So it's probably more operator error than anything. But I didn't have to worry about, again, pulling the um, of the pooling. I did not have to worry about wax studding out or any of those performance issues like I said it did not set until the end the scent notes on this is baked bread pumpkin puree and cinnamon and clove you smell the cinnamon and clove probably a little bit more than the pumpkin puree and you do definitely get another baked bread note it just smells like if you were put you know you had like um not a cinnamon roll, but definitely a um, a cinnamon bread. or a pump. It's definitely spot on with a pumpkin cinnamon bread. In the oven, you could smell, you know, cooking. And you would have more of the spices coming out at that point while it's in the oven rather than the pumpkin puree. The throw on this is a medium high. Uh, this fills your space. This travels to another room and another room. This is really a strong candle. Um, it lingers a little bit after you put it out. It's really, really a nice, strong candle. I am not giving this a powerhouse because it didn't fill the whole house. But I'm definitely giving this a medium to a high throw. So with that being said, would I repurchase this again? Yes, I would. Definitely so. So those are the three candles I have for you this time. I'm trying to get through more. I really honestly am. It's just, I'm just overwhelmed with what do I burn next? What do I want to try next? And what have you. Um, so thank you for staying with me. I will see you next week with a, another post candle burn. There may be a couple little episodes of as the candle burns in between. You never know. So again, 
Thank you for staying with me. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see everyone again in the next video.